504 and this morning Trump and Clinton supporters will rally one last time in New Mexico trying to turn the typically blue state of New Mexico into a red state. News 13's Fernanda Lopez continues our team coverage this morning. Fernanda. Good morning, Adam. Recently, New Mexico has been thrust into the election spotlight after several visits from Trump's camp in recent days. But as our political expert explains, Trump's visits may not exactly make a difference when it comes to winning undecided voters. We are going to win this state and we are going to take back the White House. Donald Trump's message to New Mexicans a little over a week before Election Day. His visit, followed by his son Trump Jr. and even Trump's running mate Mike Pence, has made several stops. The stumping came after Trump's campaign said their internal polls showed the race for New Mexico's five electoral votes was neck and neck. But News 13's political expert Gabe Sanchez says Trump's efforts may not have the effect he's looking for. Well, you know, when you have candidates like that that visit a state, what it does is it really drives up enthusiasm, mm -hmm. might have an impact mm -hmm. on turnout. The trouble with that is it also might impact the other side. Sanchez doesn't see New Mexico as a swing state and doesn't believe the heavy stumping from Trump's camp will drum up a whole lot of support for the Republican nominee. But all of the attention could mean more voters at the polls. As for Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton, neither she or her VP pick Tim Kaine have made a stop in New Mexico. Her husband, former President Bill Clinton, did. Tim Kaine's wife also stumped in New Mexico, and Bernie rallied for Clinton recently. But Sanchez says the biggest name for the Democratic Party chose to stump next door. Surrogates don't have a lot of impact. In fact, on the Democratic side, the only surrogate that we're actually seeing that matters is the First Lady, Michelle Obama. Mm -hmm. And I think the fact that they strategically put her in Arizona right. and not here in New Mexico sends a signal to a lot of folks that, hey, we think we've got New Mexico in the bag. Let's see if they regret that decision come election night. Now, Clinton's lead here in New Mexico did shrink several weeks ago, according to AZIA poll.